Hi guys, welcome back to another Minecraft episode with Meat of Cookie, and today we're going to be looking at the banners which came with the new 1.8 Bountiful update. So I'm just going to show you how to craft these and what to do. I am using a texture pack called OCD. Um, I could take it off. I just took it off. I'd put it on because... Um, 1.8 is because there's so much added to it, such as the banners, it kind of um, makes it a bit laggy, so I've put everything down. So, so as you can see, these are all like the different designs you can get. All of these red ones you can get in different colours, like any colour here you can make that effect. With So you, the white could be a blue and the red could be a, like a pink, it can be anything. So I'm just going to show you how it works. So what you want to do to, ba to make a basic banner, so you do that, and then you add one stick, and then that makes a white banner. You can do that with any wall that is in the game to make any colour banner, as you can see on here. So if I, what you do is you take the banner and you right click it on the wall. Oh. You right click it there and then it, there it is and you can see it's got like a 3d effect it's sticking off the wall and i think they flutter and stuff like that but i've turned my particles down so it won't be laggy for you guys but yeah so now we're going to get into the different design so now what we can do is we can get any type of the these dies and we can put them anywhere you can think of with this so if we put that there, we can put red across the top and it will make that, as you can see. We could do that and it will make that. We could do that. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. But then you can do this and then put these underneath. Then it will make it like that. And then you can do like we did before to make it halfway, but it's the other way around. So you could do that with any die. So if I put white in there. No, it has to be the same die which you put all across for that design. Okay, so um, that can be any of these, I think, except for the golden apple. Wait, what? Oh, no, you get a Mojang symbol if you put a golden apple anywhere in there. And you can obviously change the colour of the banner which you do it on, which you saw over there on the side of the wall. So now we're going to look at these, so you can do that, which is cool, and then I think you can do this, yep, to bring it halfway. So if you want, want a stripe in the middle, then you do that, so it's got a stripe in the middle, um, and then of course I think you can, yeah, you can do that as well. So it, there is a quite a lot of possibilities to do with these. So you can really personalise them to your thing. So if I add 1.8 to my survival thing, then I could add it to that. So Okay, so that's a stripe going down the middle. Now we're going to have a look at a stripe going down um, the middle again, but that way. So horizontally. And then you can put it diagonally as well. So it's using lapis this time going across that way and you might be able to do it. yeah you could do it that way so it's like Scottish flag whatever you could do it I don't know if you could do the British flag but you could definitely do England because that's an easy one which I will show you how to do now so you just put that one there and then you do a cross like that and then that, there you go and then um, if you want loads of stripes then what you do is you put that there, and then you put that there, and that there. Let's, can you do it with different colours ones? Just testing it out, no. So they have to be the same coloured stripes for this pattern there. So it's like four stripes, I think, because you get four dies. Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, the corner ones like if you want is like you saw the diagonal one that's split in half and it's got a stripe going down diagonally but if you want it to be diagonally split in half then so it's like that 
and then of course you can do it the other way as well like this I think yeah there you go or like this yes so there is um, lots of possibilities for that and now okay so if you just want a little one in the corner then you can just do that and then you can put it there and put it there and put it there I can't put it there and now if you want a little arrow then what you do is you bring the white banner or whatever colour banner you've got and then you put an arrow above it and then it will do that and of course you could do it like this oh that's the same I think there you go now if you want like little spikes three spikes at the bottom then what you do is you put it like that and then there you go and if you want three spikes above it then you do that there are many possibilities if you want a just a circle in the middle so if you want to do J Japanese flag then you just do that and there you go and a diamond is this I will leave a link to the uh, Minecraft wiki page which has all of these on okay so if you want to make a border around it then you just do this to make a border and of course you could do it with any colour you want I wonder how long it would have took someone to figure out all of these okay so if you put vines next to it then you make like this diamond effect with a black thing but if you want it to be a different colour then you just put the appropriate colour so yellow or um, pink yeah to make that kind of effect and now we've got to get onto the brick ones so what you do is you get your vine no get rid of your vine and put brick block next to it and it makes bricks I'll show you this on the wall it's pretty cool you can have different colored bricks that's pretty cool isn't it <laughs> okay so you can to do the bricks you get obviously you get the brick block there but to get a certain color for it then you just put that there so you can get the normal color bricks I think yeah you use red and then you get the normal colored ones so if you don't want to use bricks if you and you have lots of wool and dyes you use one less brick for two blocks because remember it is up and down okay now we're getting on to the awesome ones so we've got a creeper head and the banner so if you just you get a creeper one and if you put a color then you can do that and you get a green one okay and then you can get any colour one you want and if you want a skull like a pirate one then all you've got to do is get a wither skull and put it there and then of course you can apply the appropriate colour now if you want a sun if you want a sun kind of design then you just get a daisy and you put it on there and then of course the appropriate colour that you want to use there's so many designs okay I've gone through the apple one and of course what I should have shown is that once you put the apple there you can put a die and you can choose which color you want the apple to be so you can have a black apple which is already cactus green lime green like any any color you want it to be okay now we're getting into the cooler ones so what you do is you put that up there and then you make like a Y kind of shape with the colors and there you go it makes like an, an gradient where right, the colors at the top and then obviously you can do the opposite by putting it like that there you go and um, you can copy patterns by putting both banners have the same basic color so if we made another banner then we can copy, I think, the design. Yes, we can copy the design of that. One of them mustn't have a pre-existing pattern, but one must, like if you want to copy it, then you can get that. And I think you get two. Um, yeah. So if you don't want to have to do all these dies and stuff over and over again, then you can just get, you can mm. just copy them. 
Okay, so it's here's like the trivia. Um, it's 20 pixels at the bottom, 40 pixels on the side. Um, has it does sway in the wind. Um, it's possible to add more than six patterns to a banner through crafting, but it can be done with commands. And uh, you can get so many different designs. I think it's worth checking out. And I can see the British flag. So that that's pretty cool. You can make so many different things. And I just wanted to show that off today. I know it's been more than five minutes. Um, for the normal uh, one. For the normal mini craft. But I really just wanted to show this off. And I will do some more 1.8. Look out on my channel. Make sure you subscribe for more of these. So you know exactly what to do when you're in the world of 1.8 and I'll see you guys on the next video